I'm Lee Schofield, I'm Senior Site Manager at RSPB Horswater. We are currently at Naddle Farm and we're standing in a little bit of our tree nursery, our original tree nursery. So trees take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is, is one of the major greenhouse gases that's contributing to climate change. So we need a countryside that has got a lot more trees in it. So having a tree nursery here that can grow thousands of trees to put out into the landscape is going to be a big help in the fight against climate change. So we've been growing trees at Horswater for about 30 years. Our main species that we focused on has been uh, juniper. So juniper is a, a really important species in the uplands. It produces obviously berries which uh, go into flavour gin, so it's important in that respect as well. But it feeds all sorts of wildlife, things like ring oozles feed up on juniper berries before they go off on their winter migration back off to North Africa and things. Unfortunately, because of the way that a lot of the uplands have been managed over centuries, species like juniper have really, really suffered. Even though the grown tree is, is very, very spiny, uh, the seedlings are really quite palatable. Um, so the juniper stock that we've got left around the landscape um, is all very, very mature. It's not really been reproducing. So we've been growing the trees to give the species a helping hand. And we're really fortunate that last year we secured a grant from the DEFRA Green Recovery Challenge Fund to expand our tree nursery operation here. So as well as growing more juniper, um, rowan and willow and witch elm and oak and holly and a whole range of other species, we're going to have much more capacity. So we've got an old sheep barn which was no longer used. So because of the way that we're farming the land up here, we've reduced the numbers of livestock in order to give nature a bit of a helping hand to encourage woodland to spread out from the places that it's been pushed back to through grazing, to encourage more species rich grassland and heathland. And so that barn basically as a result of us reducing our livestock numbers was no longer needed. So we've repurposed that barn. We're just in the process of building a whole load of raised beds that's gonna give us much more space and we're gonna be able to produce tens of thousands of trees and also wildflowers as well um, to, to, to support our habitat management. Um, work, our habitat restoration work that we're doing on site, but also to provide other partners across the landscape with the planting stock that they need. And the, the advantages of, of doing it on a really small local scale are that we're collecting seeds and berries from just the immediate vicinity. So the trees that we're growing um, are going to be really locally adapted. They're going to fit the climate. They, they should really thrive compared with buying them from a big commercial nursery where often the trees are all genetically identical to each other. Um, so we think that this is a really important potential sort of diversification opportunity for lots of other farmers, um, you know, branching out into growing trees to help restore the landscape, moving away from a more intensive farming model um, alongside a whole range of other initiatives I think could be a really important part of a, a sort of a more nature rich countryside. We're obviously facing a climate catastrophe. We need a landscape, we need a countryside which is locking up more carbon than it is releasing it. So trees are a fantastically important tool in doing that, bringing in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and locking it up in their tissues, pushing carbon into the soil as well often. Um, so, you know, up until now, really the focus for how the Lake District has been managed has been, it's, it's, it's largely been an agricultural landscape which has been losing more carbon than it's been producing. So by, you know, turning that around and getting more trees, both as sort of forests, but also as trees within the landscape. So, you know, the land that we've got um, behind us here has got some really big, fantastic trees in that provide shelter and shade to the livestock as well so there's lots of room for trees within the farm landscape as well as resting areas from farming in order to provide um, you know a, a climate um, a climate benefit I suppose.